We have an easy to follow black border guide for cover garden chimps using our boy sharpshooter Quincy. We're gonna place him all the way to the left here on this pond at the very bottom as far as we can get him. Now Quincy tends to let us down sometimes, but today he will not. He will shine until we have enough money for our next tower. On round eight, we're gonna take a druid and place it right here outside of the cover garden area because if you didn't know on this map, it's really stressful because these things go around, you don't know when they're gonna be there and you can't upgrade your towers all the time. So we're gonna start off with the druid outside so we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna grab Thorn Swarm and Hard Thorns. And to save ourselves from any potential leaks, we're gonna take just a regular basic sniper, place him right here on the bottom of the bench so he can see all of his whole track like there, leaving his targeting on first. We're then gonna upgrade our Druid to Heart of Oak and Druid of the Jungle. Next, we're gonna upgrade our sniper to Full Metal Jacket, Night Vision Goggles, and Shrapnel Shot. So we had to wait all the way to $4,500 to even upgrade to our Bouncing Bullet. So this map can be a little bit more than an intermediate map sometimes. But then once we do, we're gonna get Large Caliber for 1620 as well. And a lot of times with this map, it's best to turn auto start off just because you'll miss <laughs> you'll miss the entire area that you're able to put your tower in, and that could be bad. On 38, we're gonna be taking a spike factory, placing it right at the edge of this track right here, going all the way up to bigger stacks, white hot spikes. And then during round 39, we're gonna be getting spike balls and barely affording faster production. But this tower will literally carry us through round 40 with the towers that we have over here, not so much. We barely get any damage on that Moab, it's all the spikes. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an Alchemist, placing it on the bench next to our buddy, the Sniper, not getting Quincy in range because we don't wanna buff our Quincy. And we're gonna Larger Potions, Acidic Mischative, and Berserker Brew. Go back to your Spike Factory over here and get even faster production for those pineapples. On 50, we're gonna be grabbing Supply Drop. And what's cool about this strat is although our Moab popping power isn't great, Great. Once they do pop up when we have our druid and the sniper to tear up everything inside along with our spikes, perfect cleanup. On 54, we're going to buy elite sniper and then change the targeting from elite to first. We're then going to upgrade our alchemist to stronger acid and perishing potions. Once this bottom left half is open on 57, we're going to be taking a plane and placing it all the way to the far right, as up as you can go, grabbing rapid fire, lots more darts, fighter plane, and sharper darts. But don't get centered path. Change the targeting to figure eight. On 61, grab Operation Dart Storm, and then take an Alchemist, place it next to your plane, grabbing larger potions to the initiative and Berserker Brew. On 76, just to be safe, we're going to be using Quincy's ability, which if you think about it, how come that can go through the covered gardens? That makes really no sense. But if you haven't guessed already, we're going to be going for Sky Shredder. But why I really like this strategy and using this tower is because even though it costs a lot of money, the third tier option, Fighter Plane, actually helps us take down those mobs a lot better because our Moab popping power is lacking a little bit right now. But again, once we get those things opened up, we clean them up. Same thing on 78. As soon as that big first rush comes through, we're just going to hit our ability. We don't need it, but why take the chance if you have Quincy's amazing level 10 ability? And then as soon as it's ready to go again, blast it, get that second rush out of there, that's all camo, and you're good. See, we would be able to get our Sky Shutter during this round, but unfortunately our garden is covered, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Quincy's ability to help pop this thing open, and then once they're all done through and down to balloons, we're going to use our second ability, clean everything up, and now we can easily buy our Sky Shredder, and then we're going to grab Stronger Stimulant and Perishing Potions, if you can get your hands on it, but I was talking too much, and then also Stronger Stimulant for this one as well. You also want to grab a Village, making sure it's in range of both the Sky Shredder and our Elite Defender, and we're going to go Grow Blocker, Radar Scanner for now, Bigger Radius, and don't forget Perishing Potions on your Alchemist if you missed it before, and then get Jungle Drums on your Village. Now everybody's buff and strong, and can carry all the way to the end. Now now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing another spike factory. You can't place it on the side even though it, it should fit and unfortunately doesn't fit here either. So we're going to be placing it right here close to the track as you can and we're going to be going all the way down to the bottom with faster production, even faster production, putting his targeting on close. Actually, let's try smart. Yeah, smart throws it way farther back. Why wouldn't we do that? And then also grab an alchemist getting larger potions and acidic mixture dip and that's it for now. All right, on 96, make sure to grab your perma spike, upgrade your alchemist to Berserker Brew, Stronger Acid, Perishing Potions, Stronger Stimulant, grab your Village, get Bigger Radius, and also grab Jungle Drums. It's a lot to do in one round, but it needs to be done because I don't think we're going to have another chance at this. Those things are going to solely beat our DDTs. Actually, no, we really didn't even need that. Are we going to be able to take this out that easily? That's awesome. You could use Quincy's abilities right now, but I'm going to say we don't need them, hopefully. Okay, easy enough. Haven't even gotten to the perma spikes yet, and this guy's going to take them out. Okay, easy stuff. Collect those monkey monies. And if this guide helped you out, definitely check out this one where we do Midnight Mansion on Chimps Black Border.